I wanted to do an additional prophetic update on this to give it a much deeper understanding so that you can see many of these things I prophesied well in advance with precision, with great precision and word specificity. So let's listen to what they are discussing about all the events that are unfolding in these days. This is CBS News. Yes. I mean, we've seen these calls for civil war circulate in the past, but now they're escalating. We're starting to see public officials, people on Fox News, folks like Steve Bannon and Marjorie Taylor Green echo these calls. They are echoing, and for those who fo have followed me, you understand that was prophesied, the echoes, all the echoes. Let's listen to more. These individuals are fanning the flames, and it's probably only going to get worse. How all these individuals are fanning the flames as it relates to fire. Let's continue to see what's going on. Key institutions under fire, both on the left. Key institutions under fire. Understand that. Let's go back and finish watching. Key institutions under fire, both on the left. It feels like a betrayal. It feels like my country doesn't love me. And on the right, especially in the wake of the Mar-a-Lago search. There are key institutions that are on fire, especially in the wake. In the wake the fire that is occurring in the wake. Who foretold these things? What is a wake? A wake is a disturbance of the water. Let's go back and listen to that. Key institutions under fire, both on the left. It feels like a betrayal. It feels like my country doesn't love me. And on the right especially in the wake of the Mar-a-Lago search. Fire in the wake. So clearly there is fire in the water. Did any of the Trump prophets, were they any of them able to foretell the fire in the water? Did any of them? Wait a minute. There was one that did. The fire in the waters. April the 14th. See how incredible that is. There was one that foretold the fire in the water, gave prophetic warnings. Let's look at some more of what's happening. Remember, a wake is a disturbance in the water. Very incredible. And also, what I had prophesied about the echo. You can go to this video, August the 9th, and it was a gives you a better understanding about my echo prophecies. There's the wake, the fire in the wake. Fire and water. But let's edify the word and give this a better understanding. Let's go to Luke 12, verses 49 through 56, and you will begin to understand what Jesus said. I have come to bring fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism, remember, you have to be baptized in fire to undergo and what constraint I am under until it is completed. Do you think I come to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but division. He clearly stated he would bring fire and division. Understand that. And you have to look at the titles in these videos. Division. Incredibly enough, the division and the fire. There is the edification of the word. How incredible is that? The fire and division. Listen to that again. Key institutions under fire, both on the left. It feels like a betrayal. The fire and division as spoken of as spoken of and prophesied by Jesus Christ himself in Luke 12, verse 49 through 56. But also what I had revealed too, know what the waters are. The waters are the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues found in Revelation 15. And then you go down further to the very next verse so that you can understand the fire, so that you can understand 
the waters and the fire more clearly. That is what prophecy is. Understanding prophecy. You can also go to this video, March the 3rd, 2022, where I was giving prophetic warnings about the fire and the waters. Not a single false prophet, Trump prophet, knew of these things. Or you can also go to this video, and this is on my other channel, from February the 10th of 2022. How I was saying Leviathans are stirring up the waters, the false Trump prophets. And how I was pointing out Revelation 17:15 then. But you can find more on this channel and my other channel of how I prophesied all these things with such great accuracy and word specificity, how there would be ripplings in the water, the ripple, rippling effects of the waters that was occurring and would continue to occur, and also how the waters are troubled, how that relates to Scripture, and echoing the echoes and the roaring of the waters as spoken of in Scripture. Be sure to stay in the Word. God bless.